guys i hope you're doing well welcome back to my channel we got trailers to look at today and today we're starting off with candy man this came out last week i've been holding off because i am what they call a wuss a big old wuss i am worried i want this to be good because this is jordan peele so i want to support him but i'm scared <laughs> I'm big baby. That's just who I am. I know this is based off a 1992 film. Actually, it's over here. I never actually saw that. So um, maybe I'll watch that before I watch this one. But I'm going to watch the trailer just to get a gist. Um, here we go. I hope it goes well. This is where it all began. What began? The story of Candy Man. Some Morgan Freeman? I love the stick figures with the puppets. I'm with the wife. If we say his name five times while looking in the mirror, we can summon him. Summon the candy man. Hell no. Yeah, hell no. Candy man. Anthony, no. Candy man. Stop. I don't want to get creeped out in my new apartment before bed. Candy yeah, seriously. Five people don't need to be summoned. I dare you. Don't say that. Say his name. Candy man. You better not do that last one. Candy man. Candy man. You want to be a part of the story, right? Not like that. Ooh. Anthony? Ooh, you're ripped. Oh. Anthony, are you okay? I don't think so. Is he becoming the candy man? really scary holy shit oh god ah it looks really good the cinematography is very nice it was a good choice in song oh fuck i'm gonna get <laughs> it's so funny because i watched this youtuber i think she has like two point something million subscribers her name is kendall ray and she did a story i think for like her freak freak week which is like takes place during halloween or crime tober i think she changed it to and I think she talked about a Candyman-like story. It's not exactly the same, but obviously there's this fear of razor blades and candy that I think originated from this person who gave out like handmade pixie sticks to someone on Halloween. And I think it had cyanide in them or something, something non-edible. And the kid that had it ended up passing away because you know, ingesting cyanide is deadly. It was, I remember it being like a really big case and I think that's where the initial fear of receiving candy and having it contain something harmful came from initially. I don't know if this is like related to it, but it seems like they're taking a bunch of different like scary movie tropes, like say, like for Bloody Mary, you say the name three times in the mirror with the lights off in the bathroom. This, and then here you say Candyman five times. And then it seems to be possessing our poor boy Anthony here. Like, ooh, Yaya Abdul Mateen the second seems super cool. Seems like such a good actor. I, I'm immediately invested in his character and what he's gonna eventually probably transform into. I'm, I'm excited for him. Like, I love this. Oh my God, I love this. This is fucking ingenious. I love, I mean, I just played with my boyfriend Resident Evil 8 slash Resident Evil Village. 
and they do sort of a similar style where they do like a Coraline-esque fairy tale story in the beginning and end, like bookmarking the game. And this is giving me a lot of that vibes and I, I love it. I think it's so smart. I don't know if they did it in the original 92 movie, but oh my god, this is so smart. Why do you have a claw hand though? How'd that happen? Oh, sorry, I went back a little bit, but holy shit, I'm, ooh, I love this. I, oh, like who's telling the story? Also, is that like initially him? I guess it has to be. Oh my god. Like you see a kid here reenacting it, but like, oh my god. Also, who are, are you filming this for a class? Like why are you just doing this on your own? It seems weird to just want to like hold up stick figures of cops trying to catch the bad guy. I don't know, maybe that's what you did. Oh god, and that's pretty brutal. But I mean, he did kill a kid possibly, so you know, it's fine. Though he doesn't have a hook hand, so why is he getting carried off unless that is him? And then it seems like he dies. That I, oh, what's that fear called when you have a fear of things with holes? I don't mind it like in the ground. Like I'm not, a, I'm not afraid of like porous like sponges, but like I've seen pictures of people with their hands and that makes me want to die inside. So I, I, I feel like I have that slight fear. So seeing that sort of grow on his face is disconcerting to say the least. Now is this, the, I think this is Yaya or is the older man Yaya? I don't know, but um, this is very good. I don't get the bug thing. I guess because it's like, it's sweet like honey. So bees make honey, honey. Again, I don't know the original story. So I'm a little confused. What are you holding? Is that a book that someone wrote on the candy man? Maybe this is the author and he's doing like an interview and he's doing a story. Like he's clearly chasing down this story for some sort of editorial journalistic piece. Or maybe he's like helping the art show do something. Like he's trying to get some like creative juices flowing for an exhibit. I don't know. I like the color on the book. Oh god, uh, that guy's smile as it slowly just like disappears is unsettling to say the least. Look at this. Oh, poor kid. What does it say on Kosser? Rartion? Teak? Like what are these words? I don't know what it is saying. It's interesting though. I'm so intrigued. Did that kid like drop the candy because he ate it or does he realize who the can who he got the candy from? Oh, so that's, that is dark. There's this whole ant line. And immediately, as soon as this bee drops, immediately the ants go for it because it's like, oh, we could fucking take it. That's our, that's, that will help our colony. Like, that's, <sighs> nature's fucking metal, man. He is so ripped. Like, look at that. Look at this tone. Oh, Ooh, Mr. Man. Oh, it's flipped. I just noticed that. This is flipped. Why is it flipped? Is it flipped because this is from IGN? But it also seems like it's doing the, the scenes on purpose and the monkey paw. I think is Jordan Peele's thing, his company. Why do you feel connected to this story? Just because it's affecting a community? I, I'm curious, like if he had a friend, like I wonder what else he heard that makes him feel so drawn to the case. But I'm with her, it's like, okay. And I'm like, I, I don't like it. Maybe I shouldn't know because some shit's gonna get fucky. And I just, I feel bad. What is this drawing on the wall? So she has a, he has a mask and it almost looks like his head is on fire. But I love like the tattered clothing. It looks like he's covered in bees. This is such cool art. Good job on the graffiti, uh, whoever did it. I love this shot. This is so like inception and like suspense. I, I love like you can't tell, are we going up? Is it coming down? Like it, it's really good perspective shot. And that's how he lost his hand. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you too. I know this guy didn't mean it to be creepy, but it's, it's creepy. The way he just sort of. Also, I appreciate the LGBTQ plus representation because we're towards the end of Pride Month. Probably not by the time I post this, but I'm still in June when I'm recording this. So, yay Pride Month. Who are you? Are you part of the problem? Are you an art connoisseur? And this looks like it's part of the exhibit. Is Did he put up glass so you can try and say Candyman in front of it in the challenge? Or is this like a weird perspective thing? Because they're obviously in school saying it in front of the mirror. I guess as a dare. But that other girl does not look into it. She's like, you're doing it, right? And she's like, I guess I am. So you're doing it. I don't like that mirror. I don't know why. It's such horror filmy vibes. It, this is giving me like a lot of shining vibes. Like there's something about these like close quartered, really clean looking rooms. I don't know. It's a lot of bees. Sweets to the sweet. Sweets to the sweet. Also that looks like that's gra more graffiti of Candy Man. I wonder why it's at a church and then who's this? Just like hanging out. Is that a previous Candy Man victim? Oh, but he's like, bitch, are you crazy? Hell no. Oh, and there's our guy. I recognize his beanie. That must be, a, that's our guy, Anthony. I like this guy's shirt. Are they a couple? <laughs> Look at, oh, he, this guy is so cute. He's like, come on, humor me. 
I love you. <laughs> Let me have this. It's exciting. I'm a writer, I think. Or an artist. I still can't tell. Mia DaCosta. That name sounds familiar. She didn't direct A Wrinkle in Time, did she? I can't remember. There's our guy again. So is Candyman an artist? I'm curious. Or is that like someone, young boy, telling the story of our meeting, leading man? At this art gallery? Ooh, yee. Oh, Jordan Peele's a producer. Okay. But what happened there? Someone got stabbed with the hook hand. Was it wifey? Please tell me it wasn't wifey. Sorry. You're clearly covered in blood. So maybe she witnessed the death or is cowering. That looks like our guy in the art outfit who was doing painting on the ground. And it's like, of course they just moved here. <laughs> and they're experiencing the horrible things. And oh my God, this guy is getting obsessed with Candyman. It looks like, like that looks like the painting. The way he's resting, he looks like he's tied up. Why they went and tie up his hands, I don't know, but it looks like he's bound. So unless this is like the Candyman's headquarters and then he was brought there. I'm not sure. I love this, uh, this shot's very cool. This also gives me, um, Little Nightmares vibes. And there was another game I'm blanking the name of. I think Markiplier or Jacksepticeye, maybe both of them played it. It was about a guy with his daughter on a train and a monster takes her and he has to, like, get get her back. I think the train breaks and then you're, you find, like, a talking crow or a cat and you have to save your daughter's soul, I think, from, like, this boogeyman. I love this. It's just, I love that she doesn't have to say anything, but she has so much emotion in her features and like the, just like the very like, no, no, we're not doing this right now. No, no, stop it. You cut it out. Like it's so, like I could just really see the fear and she's like, don't, you know, don't test me. I'm not in the mood. This is I think our boy Anthony getting obsessive again. There's something about this group of girls that like kind of fits together, but kind of doesn't. Like she seems like too much of like the bitchy popular girl while these three probably are more friendly with each other. I don't know. Maybe it's just or the way she's being portrayed. Does he have followers? Does he have helpers? Something weird is gonna go on in this in this library scene. Is that supposed to be like artistic or is that like damage from like time? It almost looks like bullet holes and I, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. So he has something going on with his hand. And I think that's from where the bee stung him and it's getting clearly infected but he's not taking care of it. And his shoes are dirty, which I think shows that like, in comparison to his entire outfit, so maybe he's gone somewhere he wasn't supposed to. And then there's something in the way he smiles at the mirror, which is strange. And now he's bleeding, his hands are shaking. Oh, so he has the file that I think he just got from the library. So I think the Candyman, or whatever the scenario is, I don't know if it's like a spiritual thing or whatever. It's probably supernatural because they're taking, they're borrowing a lot of like tropes, like the chanting in the mirror and all that stuff. And it seems like possession almost, I don't know. Ooh, ooh, there's our guy from before. Oh, your poor eye, you got brutalized. He is so ripped, like what the fuck? Also this painting is unsettling. It looks like someone chopped off their hand. Like it looks like a stub, doesn't it? Like that's where the claw should be. Like that's fucked up. And uh, I think he still has his burn on his hand. There's something, I can't really see it with uh, the thing. Oh my God, he looked frozen. Ew, don't peel your whatever. Is he frozen or is he analyzing? He almost looks frozen while she's moving. Ew, that's so nasty. But it looks like he like snapped out of it and then he looks fine here. I think something's wrong. What is this guy's workout routine? He looks fucking built. Is he really prepared to be in like a DC Marvel movie? Cause he looks like he's ready to like bulk up to be a hero or a villain and I'm I'm here for it. Can he be in Marvel's DC? I, I'm really into his acting. He looks like he's going through something here. Well, there is Anthony and he is a painter. Okay. And he closes the door quietly. There's a struggle in the dark. I don't know if he's fighting himself or if he's fighting someone else. The way that the thing is moving, it looks like that's someone else's arm, but that's our guy. Yeah, who the fuck knows? And then, is that our boy Anthony again? Or is he becoming possessed by the candy man that he's like getting the art? He jumped out of a window. Was that our candy man? Was that our guy? Or is that the guy who was talking to Anthony about the candy man? And he's like, fuck it. I'm not, I'm not sticking around for any of this shit. And I don't blame you, sweetie. I, I don't. Oh, he is losing it. How high are you? Are you in one of those apartment buildings? Cause like, it looks like he's on the second floor cause of those trees. So it's like, could it drop from the second floor, Killy? Or is he just trying to escape because he wasn't supposed to be trespassing there? Kind of hard to tell. But the way she's looking at him is like, oh fuck, my dad just jumped out the window. I don't know. Is that one of our, is that? Ooh, ooh that was a good <laughs> splatter. That's probably, that looks, that's chunky. That's like, you're already dead. And there's our boy who brought him back, the candy man. This is nutty. Does something like hook onto him or is there some sort of like supernatural pull? It's hard to tell. Honey, it looks like you're just mixing every color and then just like 
throwing it on your thing. And he looks like, is that wifey? Oh, was she covered in paint before and not blood? I mean, it's probably supposed to simulate blood. And he looks like he was covered in bees in that other shot. I don't know, Candyman looks pretty real. What happened to your hand? Did you break it? Or are you planning to punch something so you're covering your fist? Ugh, the bees. I don't like bees. I especially don't like them after I saw the Wicker Man for the first time. Is he only a gun? Or is that his hook hand? That might be his hook hand. Oh, and I think that is our gay guy. Owie. There's a bee. It looks pretty dead. It was, is his finger like pulsing? Ah, that's his nail! Oh, I just realized that was his nail. Okay, we're moving on. Oh my god, okay. Oh, sorry, oh my god. No. <laughs> when I push like my thing, it, when I push my nail in too much, it hurts so much. And I've no, I know that's a form of torture where you like put something under and just, nope. Nope. I, <laughs> I don't know if that actually made me nauseous. <laughs> like I hate that scene in um, Black Swan where she's like peeling like part of the skin and it keeps going and it's, Ooh. No, oh god, I'm like actually sick. Yeah, crush it. And there's Anthony. He looks possessed as fuck. You look cute as fuck. Is she gonna be our heroine at the end of the day? Is she gonna save everyone? Oh, and this poor girl. There's all these dumb bitches. Can't take a hint. That was quite a slice. Did you see that? Ooh. Did you slice up the face? Oh no, I think he sliced his shoulder. Ooh. Painful. Look at that blood splatter. It's like confetti. I love it. It's a lot of bees. Oh, he's like moving around it so strangely. He almost looks like he's floating, just the way he's like walking. Ooh, oh my God. And this guy slid his neck. Ooh, ooh, that's scary. I might have to watch the original one because that's um, that's Lawrence, Lawrence Fishburne, right? From Matrix and he's amazing. And... Oh fuck, Candyman, ah, it's scary. I, I can't do horror. I can't, but I'm glad I reacted to it. Because again, Jordan Peele, I think is super cool. And having more people of color behind the screen is so important. So I definitely want to support the movie. And also, it's a, it's kind of a classic, isn't it? Like, people really like Candyman, right? So I feel like this will do well. And I hope it does. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Uh, like and subscribe if you want more content. Do you plan on watching this movie when it comes out? I don't know if it's set a release date. I'm definitely going to have to go with my boyfriend. Because I'm going to need... A shoulder to cry into, to hide in, and a hand to hold, and cuddles afterwards. Because I probably won't be able to sleep the next night. Or that following night. So, um, let me know if you plan on doing the same. <laughs> Not with my boyfriend, but with someone that you care about. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Bye-bye!